heat loss during breathing. In very cold weather, a significant mechanism for heat loss by the human body is energy expanded in warming the air taken into the lungs with each breath. On a cold winter day when the temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius, what amount of heat is needed to warm to body temperature 37 degrees Celsius, the 0.5 liters of air exchanged with each breath? Assume that the specific heat of air is 1020 joules per kilogram Kelvin and that 1 liter of air has mass 1.3 10 to minus 3 kilograms. How much heat is lost per hour if the respiration rate is 20 breaths per minute? Okay, so we're warming up air from an initial temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius to a final temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. So it was minus 20 initially and 37 finally. So the change in temperature delta T is T final minus T initial, which is 37 minus minus 20. That is 57 degrees Celsius temperature change. Okay, so since we have the temperature change in the Kelvin scale, equal to the temperature change in the Celsius scale, that also means that the delta T is 57 Kelvin. Now, what is the mass of 0 0.5 liters of air? Uh, so we assume that one liter of air has mass 1.3, 10 to minus three kilograms. However, in each breath, we're going to take uh, exchange 0 0.5 liters of air, so that will be half of it. So the mass of the air that we exchange in each breath is 1.3 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms divided by 2, which will be 0 0.65 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms, which is 6.5 times 10 to minus 4 kilograms. Uh, the specific heat of air is 1020 joules per kilogram Kelvin. So the heat that we need to warm up the air will be mass specific heat, the change in temperature delta T, the mass of the air is 6.5, 10 to minus 4 kilograms. The specific heat is 1020 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And the temperature change is 57 Kelvin. So we will find that the heat will be, if we multiply these, 37.791 joules. So how should we... Uh, report this heat. We're going to do rounding now. You can see that the least number of significant figures we have in this problem statement is 2. So we're going to reduce it to two significant figures. So Q is 38 joules. And uh, if you wish, we can also convert it to calories. One calorie remember, is 4.186 joules of mechanical energy. So heat will be uh, 37.791 divided by 4.186 and then reduced to two significant figures. Q will be 9.0 calories. Okay, now in part B, we would like to know uh, how much heat uh, we expand uh, in one hour. So we have 20 breaths per minute. So how many breaths do we have in one hour? One hour has 60 minutes, so 20 times 60 
breaths per hour. So this gives us 1200 breaths per hour. So the total uh, energy lost in one hour will be 1200 multiplied with the energy loss in one breath 38 joules so this will give us a total heat loss of 4.6 times 10 to 4 joules and if we uh, consider the calorie uh, unit it will be 1200 times 9 which will be 1.1 times 10 to 4 calories of heat that is lost in one hour okay <clears throat> so this problem is about heat loss during breathing in very cold weather uh, on a cold winter day where the temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius to warm up the air 0.5 liters of air intake in each breath to 37 degrees how much heat do we need to uh, expand <clears throat> and we know the specific heat of air and the mass of one liter of air and then we want to know how much heat is lost per hour if the respiration rate is 20 breaths per minute. So first we calculated the temperature change, then the mass of 0.5 liters of air by dividing the mass of 1 liter by 2. Uh, Q is equal to mc delta T because we don't have any phase change. Uh, and this gives us the answer in joules. Uh, now, 1 calorie is 4.186 joules, so we can convert to calories. For part B, we need to know how many breaths we have in one hour. With 20 breaths per minute respiration rate, we have 1,200 breaths per hour. So, 1,200 times 38, that's 4.6, 10 to 4 joules, is the uh, total amount of heat lost uh, in one hour.